ሰላም እንዴት ናችሁ ውድ ያብረንደግ ዩቲዩብ ቻናል ቢትሰቦች እንኳን እንደና መጣችሁ ዛሬው ቪዲዮ እንግዲህ አዲስ ፕሮግራም ነው የማስጀምራችሁ ይሄም እንግዲህ ለኮምፒውተር ሳይንስ የዲግሪ ተማሪዎች የመውጫ ፈተና ሞዴል ጥያቄዎችን ነው የማቀርብላችሁ ዛሬ ክፍል አንድ ነው የምንጀምረው ከዚህ በኋላ ክፍል 2 ክፍል 3 ይያልን የምንቀጥል ይሆናል እንግዲህ እነዚህ ሞዴል ጥያቄዎችን የማቀርብላችሁ ከባለፈው አመት ከተፈተኑትም እንዲሁም ደግሞ ተመሳሳይ ፈተናው ወስደው አይቀሩም የተባሉትን እንግዲህ አምና የተፈተኑ ተማሪዎች ብዙ መረጃ ሰጠውና ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ዘንድሮ ደግሞ ለምትፈተኑ ተማሪዎች ፈተና ላይ መውጫ ፈተና ላይ አይቀሩ የሚያላቸውን ጥያቄዎች አዘጋጅተንላችኋል ስለዚህ ክፍል 1 ክፍል 2 ይያልን የምንቀጥል ይሆናል ዛሬ ክፍል 1 እና የምንጀምረው እንግዲህ ወደ ጥያቄያችን ከመሄዳችን በፊት ወይም ደግሞ ጥያቄውን ከመጀመራችን በፊት ለዩቲዩብ ቻናላችን አዲስ ይሆናችሁ ካላችሁ ሰብስክራይብ ያደርጋችሁ ቤተሰብ እንድትሆኑ ጠይቃለን እንዲሁም ደግሞ ለሌሎች ሼር በማድረግ የማፍቲያችሁ አካል ሆኖ ስለዚህ ዛሬ ወደ አዘጋጀውላችሁ ጥያቄዎች ላይ ማርፎ እስከመጨረሻው ድረስ አብራችሁን ቆዩ question number 1 which one of the following is not true about sdlc a it is a conceptual model that describes the stages involved in system development b it enables us to create high quality software as quickly safely and cost c it involves mostly 5 up to 7 phases of stages d none the correct answer for this question is choice c it involves mostly 5 up to 7 phases of stages question number 2 in which one of the following phases of sd lc you meet customer or prospective customers analyzing market requirements and features that are in demand you also find out if there is a real need in the market for the software product you are trying to develop The correct answer for this question is choice B requirement gathering. Question number 3 Which one of the following is not true about UML? A it is or is a graphical language for visualizing, specifying, constructing and documenting the artifacts of a software intensive system b it offers a standard way to write a system's blueprints c uml is a programming language used to model technical and graphical specification d none of the above the correct answer for this question is choice c UML is a programming language used to model technical and graphical specification. Question number 4. Which one of the following diagram is used to analyze the system's high level requirements using actors and relationships? A. Activity diagram. B. Sequence diagram. C use case diagram D class diagram The correct answer for this question is choice C use case diagram Question number 5 Which one of the following UML diagram is not behavioral diagram A activity diagram B sequence diagram C use case diagram D class diagram The correct answer for this question is choice D 
class diagram. Question number six. Which SDLC modeling technique arranges all the phases sequentially so that each new phase depends upon the outcome the previous phase and says the system is ready only after the last phase is over? A. Angel B. Waterfall C. Spiral D. Iterative the correct answer for this question is choice B, waterfall. Question number seven. Which one of the following modeling technique is a way of breaking down the software development of a large application into a smaller pieces? A, agile. B, waterfall. C, spiral. D, iterative. The correct answer for this question is choice D, iterative. Question number eight. Which one of the following is correctly matched according to the sections of a class is a class diagram? A, upper section class name. B, middle section methods name. C, lower section attributes name. D. All. The correct answer for this question is choice D. All. Question number nine. Which one of the following protocol is used for communicating over a network and designed explicitly as addressing protocol which devises any message into threads of packets? A. HTTP. B. TCP or IP C. FTP D. DHCP The correct answer for this question is choice B. TCP or IP Question number 10 Which one of the following is true about static websites? A. It is web pages are coded in HTML CSS and JavaScript. B. Pre built content is same every time the page is loaded. C. The content is only changed when someone publishes and updates the file. D. All. The correct answer for this question is choice D. All. Question number 11. Which one of the following is not true about HTML? A. Standards for hypertext markup language. B. It's a programming language. C. HTML describes the structure of a web page semantically. D. HTML file must have an HTM or HTML file extension. The correct answer for this question is choice B. It is a programming language. Question number 12. Which one of the following is the correct sequence of tags in the structure of HTML document? A. Body, head, HTML, title. B. Title, head, body, HTML. C. HTML, head, title, body. D. Head, body, HTML, title. The correct answer for this question is choice C. HTML, head, title, body. Question number 13. Which one of the following is the correct way to create a hyperlink in HTML? The correct answer for this question is choice A. Question number 14. Which one the following is the correct about CSS syntax?
The correct answer for this question is choice B. Question number 15. Which of the following is the correct way to use external CSS in the HTML head section? The correct answer for this question is choice C. Question number 16. Which one of the following is the correct way to use external JavaScript code in the HTML head section? The correct answer for this question is choice A. Question number 17. Which, which, follow, which of the following program is run on a web server to generate dynamic web pages by creating a unique experience for each user? A. Client side scripts. B. Server side scripts. C. Front end scripts. D. Cascading scripts. The correct answer for this question is choice B server side scripts question number 18 which one of the following is not the functionalities of server side scripts a manage data in a database b send and receive cookies c encrypt and validate data d build the application programming interface or apis the correct answer for this question is choice C, encrypt and validate data. Which one of the following is not true about PHP? A. PHP documents end with the extension.php. B. A PHP, a PHP document will output only HTML. C. PHP stands for Hypertext Pro Pre -pro -pre -pro Processor. D. It is a server side scripting language that is embedded in HTML. The correct answer for this question is choice B. A PHP document will output only HTML. Question number 20. Which one of the following is the correct way of defining a variable in PHP? The correct answer for this question is choice B. Question number 21. Which one of the following is true about POST method? A. POST requests are catched b post requests remain in the browser history c post requests can be bookmarked d post requests have restrictions on data lengths the correct answer for this question is choice d post requests have restrictions on data lengths question number 22 which one of the following function is used to connect with MySQL database. The correct answer for this question is choice A. Question number 23. Which one of the following is Featuring of OOPS Describing the reusability of code A. Abstraction B. Encapsulation C. Polymorphism D. Inheritance The correct answer for this question is Choice D. Inheritance Question number 24 Which of the following is not true about OOP concept. A. 
encapsulation b polymorphism c exception d abstraction the correct answer for this question is choice c exception question number 25 which of the following definition best describes the concept of polymorphism a it is the ability to process the many messages and data in one way b it is the ability to process the undefined message or data in at least one way c it is the ability to process the message or data in more than one form d it is the ability to process the message or data in only one form the correct answer for this question is choice c it is the ability to process the message or data in more than one form راچون سلوكو ياچو كالبنا مسگنالن چاو چاو بيتسب